Well, Giles Malone here for Space Coast Daily, out in the community, trying to find stories that are uh, exciting and helpful for people. And we're here at Biocellular Therapies in Melbourne, talking with the lovely Teresa Dawson. Teresa, welcome. Thank you. Tell us about your story and, and how, uh, how Dr. Hermannsdorfer helped you. Well, about uh, 10 years ago, I started getting pain in my right leg up through my hip. Um, and over the, that decade, it just got more and more severe to the point where it was difficult to get in and out of my car and even keep my leg on the gas pedal. So I needed to have something, I needed it to be taken care of. Um, so I went and had an MRI done um, and was told that I needed uh, surgery on it. But I did not want to do a, a hip replacement. I looked around for some alternative treatment and um, talked to some people where I work and they gave me contact information for um, biocellular therapies. Several years ago when stem cells was sort of the catchphrase, people thought that it would be involving some type of unethical behavior where you're going to be taking babies and aborted babies and using those cells, but that's not it at all. Actually what we're doing is we're um, extracting your own stem cells from your own bone marrow and we're utilizing those, those uh, cells in your own body to heal itself. I thought it was going to be dreadful, I thought it was going to be in horrible pain, but I didn't feel anything. I really didn't and um, my pain level went down right off the bat, it, right out of the gate. I had no problem getting up and moving around, I didn't need any medication, I still don't use medication. Well, I think it's because it's the first time that we're able to offer a therapy where you're actually able to cure something. In most cases when we treat people with musculoskeletal disorders, it's in a way to try to put a band-aid on it or to try to replace it in its entirety. We use fake joints, um, other imitation products, or we try to mask the pain by either taking away the nerves that go to those areas or injecting steroids. And um, what we found was that uh, these are usually temporary uh, ways of treating these types of disorders, whereas with stem cells, you're actually going back in time and you're regenerating the tissue that's diseased. And this is the first time that we've actually been able to incorporate this kind of medicine into a practice. Surgery is such a dramatic procedure, so you opted for the stem cell. What, what were some of the reasons why you felt comfortable doing that? Um, well, I didn't want to have a prosthetic which uh, you know causes a lot of people problems down the road. I didn't want huge scars. And uh, the stem cells, it was explained to me so well that I, I really believe that this is, was right for me, mm -hmm. absolutely right for me, and it has been. Mm -hmm. uh, my pain level has decreased tremendously. And where do you see this going you know, in the next uh, you know, six months, 12 months, 18 months? You know, where do you see the science? How do you see it developing? Well, I, there are a lot of people who are starting to take an active interest in this type of therapy now from the government and down to um, uh, investigators and even physicians. They're starting to see people come out with great outcomes and uh, so they're, they're trying to investigate it at, at a higher rate. Um, I'm not, you know, there's some early funding going on in different uh, universities around the country where they're trying to come up with even more advanced methods of utilizing stem cells. And, and people who have heart attacks, for example, people who have neurological diseases, um, so they're, they're actually looking to expand its utilization um, for a multitude of different diseases. So for you, who's been uh, helping people for years with traditional medicine, you know, you know on, a, on, a, uh, on an excitement scale, this must be a game changer for, for people like you. Well, it really is, because now it's giving us the opportunity to treat patients to the point where they won't need a knee replacement, they won't need a hip replacement. Um, I believe that down the road, once this becomes more mainstream, that it'll be the standard of care where, you know, before we offer those types of therapies or even steroid injections. Well, there you have it. Uh, for those of you who are interested in learning more about uh, stem cell therapy, Make sure you uh, make a free consultation with Dr. Dowdell or Dr. Hermansdorfer at Biocellular Therapies in Melbourne. Doctor, thank you so much for sharing that with us today and thank you for all you do for the community. Great, thank you.